year, more than a million and a half freight trains crisscross the country, many transporting dangerous and hazardous cargo through countless vulnerable neighborhoods. Now the government proposes transporting tons of nuclear waste from storage sites across the country to an underground repository deep in a mountain in Nevada. The yeas are 60, the nays are 39, the motion is agreed to. The idea of shipping massive amounts of radioactive materials by rail has some critics calling them glow trains. And we know too well the tragedies that can occur on the nation's rail lines. In 1996, a tank car explosion threatens to level Wyoiga, Wisconsin. I began to become concerned that this might be the last day we were ever going to have. In Graniteville, South Carolina in 2005, a toxic cloud invades the community. As firemen, we're supposed to help people, but this was a case where we couldn't do anything. The possibility of a catastrophic collision may be on the horizon. And the battle over safety is brewing. And each rail cask would contain 200 to 400 times the amount of fission products released in those bombs that were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. It's not a liquid. It's not a gas. It's a very dense, solid material. It's very difficult to disperse. We've really done our job in trying to make sure these can be done safely and securely. If the government strategy is realized, will the country's rail lines and the communities they serve be the site of the next mega disaster? Since the 1940s, when the fearsome might of nuclear energy was first unleashed, America has been working to harness its awesome power for peaceful domestic use. Today, cooling towers at nuclear generation plants dot the landscape and deliver nearly 20% of the nation's energy. But this power comes at a price. Left over from nearly 50 years of electrical generation are 77,000 tons of spent fuel. Highly radioactive, this material has been handled and stored safely at storage facilities scattered across more than 30 states. But in 2002, the Department of Energy was issued a contentious plan to consolidate the waste in a single secure facility buried deep in the Nevada desert. The repository is in a remote and seismically stable area, Nevada's Yucca Mountain, just 90 miles from the lights of Las Vegas. It's the DOE's responsibility to implement the plan. Gary Lanthrum will manage the logistics. Some sort of permanent disposal has to be determined and set up for these wastes. Every country in the world that has nuclear operating power plants is looking at geologic repositories as the solution for permanent disposal. And we're doing the same thing here. Nevada rejected the plan and hired a team to fight back. Robert Halstead is a consultant for the Nevada Agency for Nuclear Projects and one of the leaders in the fight against the Yucca Mountain proposal. What's being proposed is an underground facility where nuclear waste from power plants and weapons production, nuclear waste that remains dangerous for many tens of thousands of years, would be put underground in an effort to isolate it from the biosphere. But it's not the repository that has detractors worried. It's the radioactive materials traveling in specially designed casks along the nation's rail lines, aboard what they call glow trains. What the Department of Energy is proposing is over 50 years to ship a minimum of about 77,000 tons of high-level waste from about 76 sites around the country to Yucca Mountain. 77,000 tons is more than one and a half of the legendary Titanics. And transporting this material over a 50-year period is something critics point out as an accident waiting to happen. Each year, there's an average of 3,000 train derailments or crashes in the United States. Although a catastrophic crash involving nuclear waste is unlikely, the debate over a remote possibility rages on. Spent nuclear fuel has been transported in this country for over 40 years without any releases. Has been done safely does not mean will be done safely. Sometime in the future, along the bustling Vegas Strip, people barely notice the